Hey guys, we're going to talk a little bit about marbling pigments. There's a couple of different types. You have the liquid, which are these, which are a little bit more versatile if you want to mix custom colors. Like for instance, you can take blue and yellow and make green. Or specific types of greens, you can, you know, add more yellow or add more blue, whatever. Like I said, more custom. Uh, the pigmented, the powder pigments, they keep on their own. Like in other words, if you put, they stay true to their color. If you put two of the powder pigments side by side, they're not going to run together and make a different color. Uh, like the the liquid the liquid ones do. Now, CRB has quite a few colors to choose from, but they're kind of limited. I say limited because I found pigments by Nuno. Uh, these particular pigments are really bright and vivid, and he's got, so far, 35 colors to choose from, and colors you won't find in the other type. Uh, like for instance this is oasis this is iced coffee and this is blue lightning which to me almost glows now in the following I, i'm going to put together a few snapshots following this video showing you the differences of uh how they actually work on rods now the first set's going to be done or were done by the liquid pigments and the rest of them were done by powder pigments so let me gather up some pictures to add to the rest of this and I'll show you the differences between the two. First up liquid pigments And powder pigments, they have a little bit of a metallic look to them. And what's cool about marbling is you never know what's going to pop up in it, like a face. Or a skull. or a red fish or 
It may be even looking back at you. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And tight lines, y'all.